Hey all, this is May from Coast Screen. I am joining Brad's technical interview with Max. Let's see what's going on. So as you can tell, I'm sharing here my coding challenges with Brad. I've got Sublime open as the uh, interviewer. Brad's got VS Code open as the interviewee. He can bring his own IDE so that he can be fully proficient. So yeah, Brad, uh, can you write a function that will spit out the first 100 prime numbers? So I'm gonna do prime is an array and then we need a counter and we wanna make sure that that can change. Uh, we're gonna start at zero and then we need a function is prime uh, and then we want a while loop uh, counter dot, or dot primes uh, length is less than 100. I think that's right. Uh, we're gonna check um, is prime counter plus one, and then at the end we'll log out our primes and see if I did it right. I'll do the length as well, so that I can make sure. All right, so what's a prime number? Prime number, only if it's divisible, it's prime if it's divisible by one in itself. So uh, we're gonna say n, and we're gonna say if uh, n is one, it's definitely not prime. If it's two, it is prime because it's this is like two and one. And if it's not one or two, uh, this will fail to pass in zero. If it's not one or two, two it, you need to check all the numbers that are less than this number. So we're gonna do a little uh, loop in here. We're gonna go for every number less than the one being passed in. I'm going to increment that, and then if the, there's no remainder, it is prime. So that is, if there is no remainder, watch, I'm going to feel like this is false, and otherwise, down here, true. So if I did something terrible. Do you want to try to fix it? If it is prime, we need to push it into our link. There you uh, go. We're gonna finish our array. And then we gotta increment our counter. There, it there is. you go. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Excellent. We're gonna move on to the next uh, challenge in a bit. Another, another exactly, I just want to show you, uh, actually something you, you could have done in addition, just to make it a bit more efficient, is to check for the sure. square root. There's some math behind it, but I think, you know, there's something you, you simply just need to know that, you know, to find a prime number, you can do that check and that will uh, lessen the number of calculations you need to make. But otherwise, awesome. Let's move on. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.